hey, what's up, it's Deanna. So I just actually uploaded a video about 10 minutes ago showing you us actually telling you a story about how over the summer I befriended somebody and helped them by helping to identify all their antiques in their collection and how he gave me a whole bunch of free presents and, uh, and he gave me mostly antiques. And this was included in that lot of things he gave me for free. And so I'm not a shoe person. Now I know there's a lot of women that are shoe people and they're like into total designer shoes. They'll spend a thousand, two thousand dollars on a, on a pair of shoes or a purse. And I'm not one of those people. Now I would like a two thousand dollar like purse that's maybe a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci or something like that. But I could never bring myself to spend that amount of money on a piece of fashion. <laughs> I'm a little cheap when it comes to clothing for myself. Um, but nonetheless, uh, he gave me these shoes and I am not actually well versed into designer stuff. And so I, I looked at these and I said, oh my God, these are beautiful. And he had like, this guy had, um, a lot of designer things that were the real deal. Like, because something his grandfather, his great grandfather worked some with some, something to do with like a lot of people like wealthy designers and also models in Manhattan back in like the 70s, 80s and 90s. And so he had quite a bit of like French perfumes. Um, he had like a lot of uh, designer purses. And so these shoes were a pair that he had given me and they reminded me totally of the 80s. This is something like, oh my goodness, like kicking it from the 80s totally. Like I remember in the 80s, they had these like little leather bracelets with studs on it like this. And of course I had to have <laughs> a studded bracelet. And so these shoes I, I knew nothing about. And it says Valentino Garavanti. And I'm like, Valentino Garavanti sounds fancy. And I thought maybe they're $50 shoes. I don't know. And sadly they do not fit me. It's like Dorothy's shoes from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Unfortunately, my my feet are definitely not in Kansas because they're way too big for these shoes. These and they're Italian, and the size is thirty seven. And although that sounds big, they're not big enough for my clod hopper feet. So I don't know what to do with these shoes. And so I was like, oh, maybe I'll just like list them on Etsy for like fifty bucks. And when I did the homework, look how expensive these rocker studded shoes are. Now these one, particular ones are a vintage version, not the uh, revival ones that they recently came out in the past like few years. These are actually from when they originally came out. Um, now look how expensive these rocker shoes go for from Valentino Gar uh, Garavani. They're called rock stud shoes. <laughs> and I was like, come on, are you kidding me? There is no way for a pair of shoes Here's other versions of the rock stud. And I'm like, come on, you're kidding me. No way. $766. Um, this one's $1,095. Um, let's see. Here's another pair of rock studs. $1,075. Another rock stud pair. I'm like, are you kidding me? There's no freaking way. I, like, that's insane. Here's uh, some in the $800 range. And I'm like, what am I going to do with these shoes? Like, should I sell them? <laughs> it looks like uh, the fancy stores like Nordstrom are selling the Revival Rock Stud shoes. But I have the original Rock Stud shoes because mine are different. If you look, like, there's only studs on, like, the bottom part. But mine have studs going all on the front. And these are the vintage version. So if anyone knows what I could do with these shoes. Now, I don't want to sell them on the internet because I'm a little afraid of selling like thousand dollar shoes because I hear anything with designers, like designer purses, designer clothing, designer shoes, designer um, perfumes. It's a high scam uh, field. Like people will like pull some like shenanigans when you sell these type of shoes, like you'll list them for sale, they'll get them, and then they'll say not as described, and then what they'll do is they'll say they want their money back, and whatever venue you're selling them on will tell you to actually take a return from them, and what these scumbags, excuse me uh, for my French, what these scumbags will do is send you back like a telephone book 
<laughs> do they even make those anymore? I don't know. Well, they'll send you like a pair of old beat up like uh, uh, shoes that belong at like Payless. <laughs> and then what will happen is, is that you'll have you'll end up uh, ha having to refund them. You can't prove that they actually received your shoes and sent you back a pair of like smelly old sneakers, gym sneakers, <laughs> and then you'll lose your money and the item. So what should I do? Does anyone know? Write in the comments below. Maybe, um, is there any way I can sell, because I'm not good at selling designer things because I don't sell designer things. Does anyone know of a local way I can sell these besides Craigslist? Because I don't want to be robbed and held up at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know. Now, I mean, since I got them for free, I would even willing be willing to take like 500 bucks for these shoes if they're selling for $1,000. Hey, I'm not greedy. I mean, I'll tell you right now, if these fit me, the hell with it, I would have probably kept them and wore them. Look at them. I mean, these are hot shoes. These, these shoes are, look at that. Look at the heel on them. I mean, they're brand new. No one ever wore them. So, if you know, write in the comments below, what can I do? Tell me how I could sell these. And I don't think it's a good idea to sell these on the internet. Um, if I did sell them on the internet, the only way I'll, I'll sell them is if the person pays by a bank wire transfer or Western Union. Um, so I don't get screwed and uh, end up them doing a chargeback with a credit card. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I thought I'd share this interesting tidbit with you of how nice this guy was to me by giving me these really, really fabulous shoes. So long and have a great evening.